Hello, everybody. This is going to be a quick demo. Uh, someone asked a question on Piazza about how can you build how can you build Snowflake with just um, line and rotate. So let's build um, something different. Let's just build a spiral. You can imagine something coming out and just sort of spiraling itself. So, um, and let's build that with rotate and line. Okay. So I'm going to define a function. I'm going to call it spiral, and it's going to take some length to draw uh, this particular uh, line it's going to be that long and then i'm just going to have a bonus one which is going to be n or i can call it the current iteration or something um, i can certainly make it when the length is uh below a certain size stop drawing uh, sometimes it's easier to see the recursion if i do it this way so i'm just going to make an iteration uh counter um, and so the first thing is like if this thing is zero by that this thing i mean the iteration um if that's zero then we're going to uh Let's draw, like you do an empty image here if you wanted. Um, for the base case, what I'm going to do is draw a line in uh, different colors. So let's say like length is going to be its x. So we'll draw it along the line this way. Uh, it's y will be 0. And then let's just call it, let's just draw it in red so that we can see it. And we'll make the other one look blue so that we can uh, work on that. And then so this guy is going to be two things. Um, so the else condition, so like the recursive case, and I'm going to do beside at first. It's not going to be quite right. Um, and I'm going to draw a line of length uh, zero, uh, uh, excuse me, length to zero. So length and x zero in, in y. And then let's just make this blue so we can see it differently. Um, to the recursive case. And then beside that, let's also rotate uh, some number of degrees, let's say 10 degrees. And then um, let's call spiral of, uh, let's just make 0 0.9 times, oh, times 0 0.9 of length and uh, minus iteration and one. Bam, bam, bam. Let's call uh, like spiral, uh, spiral of like 50 and let's do it like 25 times. If I run this, see what happens. Now this doesn't quite work, right? And this is probably the biggest challenge of things is like sort of beside and how it works and this whole image that it drew, right? So this would be the base case, excuse me, this would be the first one. This is the, excuse me, this is the zero form that I'm gonna draw or excuse me, when iteration is 25, this is the one that's iteration 24. And you can see the image library like producing this whole image and then aligning them up at their center, which is not really what I want. Um, there are a ton of different incantations here, but if I say decide align their bottoms, okay, now um, we'll sort of get what we want. So there's a little bit of having to worry about that sort of thing. Like, all right, uh, this is the, the the last draw, if you will, the one that's going to be 25, and I want this to be its next image, and this one is slightly rotated and turned. So let's do uh, just a couple of things first. I feel like it's nice to see that you can see the base case all the way here at the end. Let's draw um, this with like just zero iterations. You'll just see um, the red line. I draw it at uh, one. You'll see. Uh, there and then bends a little, gets a little shorter. Right? Um, I just do that a bunch. Let's do uh, two and three and four. Um, you can start to see hopefully uh, this thing form. Um, <clears throat> and every single time I'm drawing the whole next thing, just a little rotated, right? And so uh, when I bust this all the way out to say uh, 50, you see it uh, wrap back on itself. Um, if I go further than this, if I go to like a hundred iterations over here, um, it'll start to pull apart a little bit. I think that's you know uh, just one of the struggles with this um, library is it's sort of folding back on itself. But I wouldn't worry about that for the assignments. That's not um, what we're looking for. What we're looking for is you know to get this nice little algorithm here to work where um, <clears throat> we just get some experience with it. So hopefully. Uh, this uh, explains how you can uh, use the uh, Racket image library 
I think it's from Northwestern, it's fantastic, uh, to build something with just uh, something, an interesting uh, drawing with just line and rotate. 